how you doing everybody welcome to the very first el gato podcast uh, myself and we've got jade from icon city who i'm also partnered with <laughs> how you doing james i'm very well guys thank you very much for uh, inviting me on it's a pleasure to be here good 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 good, good to have you so we're going to be talking because it's our very first one we're going to be talking about the very first products that we had from el gato so do you want me to start or do you want to start no, go on, you kick off. Okay, then. So, my very... Well, it started off with a capture card. Yeah. Uh, I was using a... So, beginning with Z. I can't remember what it was called. A capture card. Ooh. And it was it was like a, like a massive USB hub. It was a weird yeah. name. And I couldn't get on with it. And I heard of a, a company called Elgato. And they just bought out their... HD capture card. Oh, what look at that. that. Still look shiny. That. Lovely. Look at the shine on that. Did you actually use it? Look at that. Yeah, I actually used it. I looked <laughs> after it, though. <laughs> you really did. It's got some polish on that. <laughs> got a Mr. Sheen on that. It looks good. <laughs> um, you have to t- talk me through this, because I'm not I'm not familiar with this part of Elgato's um, arm, actually, because I've never done any of this, what you're about to talk about. So this is interesting for me. You've never have you had, you had one of them? No, you, you can you can tell me oh, all okay. about this because I'm interested. Go for it. Well, this this was um this was capable of recording Xbox 360 and the PS3 and right. the NES and the Super Nintendo, so like all the old retro consoles. Um mm-hmm. but then afterwards they went on to like the HD 60 capture card. Um because right. that capture card couldn't do the new Xbox One or the the new PlayStation, so I had to update it to the HD sixty. So what what resolution is that recording at then, or what was it recording at? Um, this this was I didn't have a very good computer back then, so it was probably seven twenty, probably. So probably I don't know. Yeah, that probably sounds about right, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um but that that is like 1080 that one HD 60. Oh, that's the next one up. Yeah. Look at that. It's not as shiny. I call it the pebble. I think they've gone for like a matte finish with a nice sort of silky line across it which is quite Yeah. It lights up nice. as well when you plug it in. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah, so so how, so, so how does this capture card actually work because again I've never used one. Are you Plug in your. You come from your. We okay. Maybe if you explain probably how what you what you used it for initially. I guess. Okay. Um, well, first I I I well I still liked retro gaming, so I mainly right. used it for that. But it's got HDMI ports, USB ports, AV ports. It's been a while since I've used these. Wow. <clears throat> but okay, so it's got HDMI on there. Okay. HDMI. And that's a PS2, it looks like, PS2 interface, little round circle on the yeah. end. Right. Um, but obviously, I had to have like all the, the extensions to use the the NES and the Super Nintendo because of all the, the old AV uh, connections, if you remember right. what the connections oh, was like. Oh, God, the yeah, red, the red, yellow, and white. And blue, white. or white, yeah. yeah. White, yeah, yeah. Red and white, uh, red and uh, white. Red, yellow, and white. Was yellow, it red, yellow, yellow. And white or yeah, yellow was the like video that. feed, and the red and white was the audio. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, when when that when when the Xbox One and everything else started coming out, uh, then mm-hmm. I moved on to the HD sixty, which recorded only the Xbox and the PlayStation Four. So right, it doesn't record the old retros, but apparently the HD sixty X does now. Right, so I want that. That's what else I want. <laughs> so, so, so basically, that box is then is encoding the stuff from your Xbox into your PC, which is then yeah. able to capture not only the video but the sound as well, right? All in yeah. one. Everything. And what, and what and what output? What is actually coding to? Is it like MP4 or H.264 or? I think it's MP. MP4. I can't be too sure. It has which been video, a yeah. long time. It's been right. Okay. How long has it been? My God, I cannot even remember how long it's been. Because the obviously lots of um, so so basically when when I worked at Apple, we dealt with lots of different codecs. You know, you had your .MOVs, 
obviously MP4s, as I've already mentioned, M4V as well. That was another format. M4V. M4V. That was a, a basically it was all about crunching down that video to a to a size which was manageable. And obviously, if you're gaming for three hours, then imagine how much hard drive space you're going to need. So, kind oh, of, okay. I guess the question I've got for you then is with that is kind of how long would you game for, and how long how much data would it take up? Do you remember? I oh, I used to game <laughs> for ages. Um, used to, <laughs> I, I, honestly, it was a good yeah, it was a good few hours. It was right. good for you, especially on a weekend. Um, and that was obviously, yeah, okay. Um, I don't think I actually had it saved on my hard drive, though, because everything was all streamed, and it's all saved on YouTube anyway. Oh, okay. So you, you, wasn't, you wasn't going from that capture card into your hard drive and, and sort of recording on the fly as you were using no, it? Was, no, it was all live. Wow, okay. It was all cool. live. You see, I've never done this before, right? Uh, you'll have to start. <laughs> you see me <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 horrendous <laughs> I've only got three more gold guns to do I'm actually very good <laughs> I've only done two gold guns so far what? what? I, t- I tend to use the same gun all the time no no that's good but I'll tell you what when you start start going through mate I tell you there's some pretty good guns in there yeah it's hard in it anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> SPX XPX80 I think I'm using right now anyway caveat Rabbit yeah, hole, Elgato. rabbit hole. Um, so yeah, um, very so first that was one. Your... That was my very first Elgato product. And where did you buy it from? Actually, I remember it was from Maplins. Wow. Okay, kids. Maplins, okay, I... kids. Where's <laughs> Maplins? <laughs> and how much was it? Can you remember how much it was? It was o- It was over a hundred. It was, was over it? hundred. I think. I think it's been a while. I think, if not, it was like just under the hundred. Yeah. But yeah. And, and is yeah. that again because I'm not in the realms of streaming? What I do, uh, as I, as a gamer for me is all about my keeping me happy, not other people. I can't go there. I'm enjoying it too much myself <laughs> to make other people happy. Um, so is that still what people do now? Then is this kind of like? I can't sound like a proper old guy, don't I? But is this what people are still do right now? They're actually they rec- they're streaming live and editing sort of after the fact. Are they saving it for shorts, YouTube shorts, etc.? Or... I, I, I think they do record now to get if so if, if like anything stupid happens or or something, right. they can go back um, mm-hmm. and they can clip it for shorts or they could do it for TikTok yeah. or Instagram or whatever. Um, yeah. I tend to do it all live, and if anybody clips it, if I'm if I happen to be streaming on Twitch, somebody clips it, you know, I save it, put it on um, clip cross clips. It's okay. free free to upload on that, and then it scales it down for a uh, TikTok, and I uploaded it, uploaded it, upload it from there. Right, cool. So, but I am going to be doing more shorts. Um, it's it's ex- YouTube Shorts at the moment. In January 2023, kids, YouTube Shorts is the way forward right now. It is. That's true. Trust me. It really is. And um, get them schedules in and don't miss a beat because that's what people like, right? That yeah, old TikTok. Definitely. Especially with me being uh, splattered with cream from mum. I don't know anything about that. Seen that. <laughs> I was streaming Fortnite. Okay. Um, mum was mum was behind me. She was doing she was doing like diamond painting, and we was just having a laugh. And then all of a sudden, mum got the kind of uh, spray cream. She literally sprayed it all over my head. I got yeah. my headset on. Everything it fell in my lap. I had to have a shower while I was still streaming because I was literally covered. My hands was covered. My headset was covered. My hat was covered. My clothes, everything. There's a reason why my office has a door there. Because I can see... Uh, it, well, it does, actually. It's got two doors. It's two doors a day. And I've got a lock on both doors, just in case. Um, and, it, and it is because I'm... See that door behind you? I'm getting agitated just seeing it. Because I don't, it's like I don't know what's going to come through it, right? And I'm already getting anxiety, you know, and there's a door behind you. So I could not sit here knowing... Somebody behind me, because that's why I have to point at this. Because my idea was, we did the office; it was going to be this way, 
So I was yeah. going to actually be working across this wall here. And I just thought, I can't put my back to the door. I just can't do it. And it was like, it, but it would have made sense to do it that way. But anyway, I just, I'm so glad because seeing your setup is giving me cringes. <laughs> right. So I'll, I'll, um, so my first one, it's kind of an interesting story really because, um, <clears throat> Elgato stuff, you know, it, it's as we know, it's not the cheaper stuff. Although in some areas it, it is. It's I, I hate to use the word cheap because it, it it's not right because it's it's uh, less expensive. I think it's a better it's a better word to use because in in the PC industry that we're in, that um, there's a, there's a lot of expensive stuff out there. There really is. And um, again, working for Apple, I know that people spend three and a half thousand pounds on laptop. That's how crazy it is. So. Um, <clears throat> I'd heard about this thing called Stream Deck, and um, and I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to be fully invested in it or not, and I wasn't quite sure how I'd use it. And my idea was to actually stream myself through sim racing, because that's actually what I was into at the time. I was yeah. uh, use, uh, I was paying monthly for something called iRacing. And if you, you know anything about iRacing, yeah, yeah, so you, you pay a monthly fee. There's races every 15 minutes, and people take it very, very seriously. And I was into it. I've got a Fanatec set up behind me with a McLaren, McLaren F1 wheel and all that sort of stuff. So I'm fully into it. And I thought I would love to stream this because I actually was quite confident in driving the cars. And I was told the stream deck would help, et cetera. So Facebook Marketplace sets the scene. Um, it was something like seventy-five pounds, a fifteen-key Mark One, with a really funny um, stand. Yeah, it's quite a bit, a funny stand that it came on, and of course the cable was attached as well, so you couldn't you couldn't unattach the, the Mark One cable from it. Anyway, I went around to the guy's house, and he said, "Oh, just don't use it." <laughs> like, okay. Why are you selling it? I just don't use it. Okay, and I was like, okay, so I got it home and. Oh my god! I plugged it in, and, and, it, and the first thing I noticed was how bright it was. I was like, "Oh gosh, that looks great!" You know, suddenly it was a keyboard that was lit up from behind, and I could do anything I wanted with it. Open websites with it, um, change the volume on my computer. Uh, I didn't have anything smart around me at the time, so I couldn't sort of turn lights on and off with it. But I was just using it for my own purpose, really. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So I was using it for my own purpose, really. And that's when I really realized that this gadget could just do so much more than I think people were giving it credit for. Yeah. And it wasn't long um, that I had it that I had the Mark II came out. And, of course, it boasted things like face plates, um, a detachable a detachable USB, uh, USB-C cable. And I think it was braided as well, I think. And... Um, and of course, I did it in black, and a, and a white version came not long after that. So I the bought a black one. Oh, the white! The white I use exclusively, actually, for all my lighting now, because yeah. I just I just love it. And um, and that was it. I, I kind of just got mental. I, I bought the black one and um, got it home, and I just was like, I, so I had my first kind of El Elgato Botkin experience with a Mark II 15 key because <laughs> I missed that having a second hand one to start off yeah. with. But I knew the minute that Mark II turned up and I was actually uh, unboxing it, I thought, this is like the Apple experience. This is like they 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 know what they're doing. The box is premium. It really is premium. When you, when you lift that off, you, everybody's had an iPhone and they've taken a knife out of the box yeah. and that feeling of anticipation. It's nice. Nailed it, right? <laughs> Nailed it. The packaging was on point. That's lovely. They got obviously gone with this blue color. And I think they just they just knew what they were doing. And, um, and that's what I knew that, that I just needed to... Like understand this product more, and really yeah. get into and and actually open the website up and actually started really looking around and going, oh, there's lots of stuff here I don't think I use, but I enjoyed the experience, and I think that's why Elgato for me is a great company because mm. they have they got that edge that the website's simple to use, they've got a very clear uh, look at the world right now, and I think you know I, I know that they're working on some great stuff. Um, I actually, as you know, I create icons. Um, so I talked to a few of the guys at Elgato, and while they've not let me in on a lot of stuff, I know they've, they've worked some brilliant stuff for this year, and it's going to be a big year for Elgato. So watch out, everybody else. Um, you should tell me uh, that. I want to know. <laughs> it's like inside a secret, isn't it? <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're going to know soon enough. I'll tell you now. You're going to know soon enough. But, but there's just some, it's just like this, it's that thing is they're one step ahead, actually, from everybody else. Yeah, and, and 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 I know we spoke off air about other people, other products, and while they're um, probably more expensive, 
their software, and I think we've not touched on that yet, that their software was so intuitive. And I think somebody said something, um, I remember watching a video of that, how actually what they do on a PC, they do on a Mac as well. So when you look at the um, controlling audio interfaces on a Mac, it's a terrible, terrible experience. You just can't, you've got Chrome audio, you've got your, your audio for your computer. Yet yeah, if you install the software uh, by Elgato on your Mac, it works better than the other Mac software. <laughs> and and that doesn't, that very rarely happens, right? Yeah. That very rarely happens. They really know what they're doing. So uh, I, I won't come on too much, but yeah, the 15 key was my starting point. Bought a second one, loved it, and then oh, I've got about thirty-two now. <laughs> <laughs> Just laid it across I, the room. I think I've got. I think I've got about six. Come on. <laughs> That's give one I, away. That's not... I, I, well, I've still got the Go XLR, the big one. Okay. Ooh. I've still got that one, but yes. I haven't used it anymore because of the Stream right. Deck. Because that does everything. Yeah. I mean, I've got Voice Mod and everything. Oh yeah. And you can use yeah. it on the the Stream Deck. I'm having issues with that at the minute. Um, but El Gato is actually helping me with that <laughs> at the minute. Yeah. Um, but I've got like literally everything on the stream deck. I've got Twitter. I've got like sound effects. I've even got like a, a horn to wake up a specific Have you person. Really? Just yes. in case. And it has worked. Um, hype music. I've got it. I've got a clock. Um, adjust the lighting, the key yeah. lights, the mini light everything it is just yeah. it's it's a nice piece of hardware and software and it's really easy like you said i think it's that one of the things isn't it like, i think i said some manufacturers do the do the hardware really well it's yeah. just the software trips them up and where and it's no good is it you can't have something that is shiny and it clicky and really responsive you go this is great and then you go to use it and it actually just falls apart because yeah that is and, and that's where i've got to have got it right 100 percent you know um I, i'm like i said well we both are as you see we're fully invested so so what was your next product then did you get your stream deck after your capture card then or what was what was um, next for you it could have been the uh key lights key, could yeah have been the key light have you got the, the big ones one. you've got the big, I've got a big the... one and i've got an air light the key light air yeah the key light air yeah, yeah. that big one that's a big that's big, isn't it? That's like yeah. studio lighting, isn't it? It's proper. That's... I want another one though. To, yeah. To match the other side. Yeah, I, I went with the two uh, key light airs because trust me, yeah. I'm blinded by these. They are so good. I'm blinded by them. I can only imagine what it's like having a full wackadoodle one uh, because <laughs> that... it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. What do they call it? It's just like the the the, the key light. I think it's just called the key light, isn't it? I think. It's like the key, like the original key light. I'll call the it. original key light, yeah. Yes, yeah. it's, it's it just must be like the sun coming up in the morning, like burn your eyeballs out. Because yeah. <laughs> I put this on the first time and I went, oh, I was closing my eyes, could still see it, you know, through my eyelids. It was like blinding me. I think if I turn it up, yeah, crackers. Now that Absol that is that's bright. Yeah, absolutely. So I've got crackers. it like on ten. Yeah, I've got to say. Um, Gaz, yeah, your lighting is on point. Oh, thank you. honestly, it's on point. It's 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 actually you know it's quite interesting to look at, at your what you've got going on there, and knowing that Elgato is all obviously all in control of all that. It's I mean what a, what a what a world to be living in where you can control everything from that little box in front of you. It's yeah. it's crazy, right? It's good, and uh, and your phone, Elgato and your phone. phone. Yeah, the phone. okay, so you got the app on there as control well. Okay, center. yeah, yeah. It's, I'm um, always using that. Surprised it doesn't wear out. <laughs> <laughs> got a finger mark on your phone where that's a slider button. That's yeah, the, the, the screen has like got an indentation where it's where yeah. I'm like pressed it I so dare... many times. <laughs> <laughs> I dare like see worn. if you had a Galaxy Fold. Yeah, you'd have like a little crease in the middle yeah. across it. Yeah, with the folds down the middle of the phone, you'd have it across that side. That's where Tim lights up and down. So I, I guess I guess then. So you've got your. So you've you've got your. So at which point did you go? I need to get the microphone now. What what was that point like? Because obviously you got the go. You got the XLR there, and you've got the new XLR yeah. like I've got. I had. Well, I started off with like um like a third party mic. Yes, as as we all did. Um, and then Elgato bought the Wave Three out. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> Has that got, it's got the mute on the top? Can you mute it on top? Yes. Is that something else? Yes. Yeah, got the mute. Be- oh, fantastic. Oh, look at that. I don't know. Yeah. There you go. And that's the pop shield there as well. Like pop the, shield and pop the shield, um, yeah. the shock, shock uh, absorber thing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. And then when they announced the Wave DX, I thought, I've got to have me that. I thought, God, well, it's that. not USB. So I've ended no. up having to buy this and the Wave XLR. Yeah. Yeah. So I've had to buy that and that and the cable all together. What about so the it's arm? Like just over 200. I already had the arm. And the what, who, what's the arm? Is that the what's the arm? This is the, the big one that comes over. And I've got the hang on, because I've got I've got I've got this one as well. Oh but look that's at that. The sure one. <laughs> just just showing off, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies like gentlemen just showing one. off. Just showing off. <laughs> Just showed up now. I've, I've got three, actually. I just don't even use it. Actually, Give I Give me your way next week. Honestly, I've got three mics in the drawer that There's I used to use. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing it's, wrong with that. But I'm not going to mention what they are. No. So you've got the big the big Elgato over stand yes. there. And I've yeah. got the low-profile one because, actually, I kid you not, how good is it, the cable management of this? It's it so is good. good, isn't it? Those little metal slides, again, for anybody who's actually watching this, this little magnetic slide which drops into the tray and just snaps into place. You can't see the cables. And you can't see the cables. And, and even, again, you've got to give kudos for the XLR cable as well because I think it's either twenty nine ninety nine or nineteen ninety nine. Forgive me, yeah. I've forgotten. Um, I, it's I the same one. price as the HDMI. Oh, I thought we bought it. I thought we were going to come on to that. I thought we'd come on to the latest. Oh, sorry. Um, but, but absolutely, let's put a pin in that, shall we? Let's uh, <laughs> put it up there because I need to talk about that a lot. I need to talk about that. Um, but I think, again, I think not to be too much of a fanboy, even, oh, of course we are. Uh, we love it. But when you own this stuff, you do realize how good it is. The quality, the fit, everything is just perfect. And I think. Mm. That just just speaks volumes for me. That speaks for again coming from an Apple background where it was all about this is the most expensive stuff you're going to get, but you know it's going to be good because you've paid a lot for it. Elgato yeah. sits somewhere in in the middle of all that, you know, but still has that premium look, the premium feel. I mean, look at this. I mean, this has got like uh, this has this sort of pop shield built in, isn't it at the top? Yeah. The microphone is actually lower um, than the actual um, uh, surrounding here. Um, so this, this is brilliant because it means we don't need a pop shield and we sound, I hopefully sound brilliant on it, really. Um, it just, it's just brilliant. So, so um, yeah. It is a good piece of kit. It is. I and, like and, it. And, and, and as I said, it, I wish almost that you could go into a shop and actually sit in some sort of mocked up studio and actually use it because... yeah. Um, you know, other stores, I mean, we know Razor, right, have started selling, well, started opening stores around the world, really. And they look incredible. I won't, I'll give them the juice. Razor have, have, have kind of want to be where the Apple is with the whole come to us for your streamer stuff. And I get it. Um, and the branding's on point. Um, it's just a, it's a shame everything else isn't. Um, but I think if Elgato did it, absolutely amazing. So I guess if we could talk about maybe for a second, like if Elgato did X, you'd buy it yesterday. <laughs> what would yeah. it be? What would it be? What would you be like if Elgato bought it? What would it be? If they, if, yeah, if they made something, you go, I'll buy it straight away. Look at what you've got right now and you're going, Oh my nah. God, I don't know. Um, I don't know. What about the chair you're sitting on? An Elgato chair, Ooh. embroidered Elgato logo. <gasps> I mean, you know, it's good, right? <laughs> this chair's great. Yeah, but if Elgato bought one, I'd be like, oh, I need to, I need to, I need to sit on it. Yeah, need to try it. <laughs> I can't sit on it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I need it. Yeah, because I you want think, it. I need it. No, what? Well, this is it. It's kind of like you know, if you look at what we use on a day to day, such as our camera, we we both will share this with everybody. We, we're both using a Elgato FaceTime camera, which is just stunning, absolutely stunning. In fact, when they mentioned the 4K one, I was so surprised. I was like. Where's that come from? You know, when I saw the picture that this was pushing out, I genuinely was like, 
oh my god, I was gobsmacked. And and as you know, the software for it to zoom in and out and all that sort of stuff mm. is so good that you can. It's like having an SLR on a stick already, you know. Yeah. So when they just said we're going to bring a 4K one, it was like, what's that all about? Are you asking me? No, I'm just saying. Oh. I, I bet, <laughs> did, did, you, did you think like, wow, 4K, I need it. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I do. Because sometimes I like to zoom in. And like when you zoom in, I don't, does it work on this? Oh, it oh, does. There you go. Look at that. Joy. See, it, it like goes all. I know what you're saying. As Artifacting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I didn't think that would work on this. It does, doesn't it? That's very Ooh. clever. Again, I've got to stop nice. working with a, um, a Chrome browser. Even better, right? HDMI? <laughs> okay, let's go there. Do you go. know what? It was one of those things. When it came out, I went, yeah, I need it. I knew straight away I needed it because... Um, forgive me, the guy who uh, does a lot of the stuff for Elgato on Twitter, um, I forget his name, sorry. Phil. <clears throat> yeah, it's Phil, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's Phil. And yeah, he tech, kind of. Tech. Yeah, and the he announced man. it, and it's just like, yeah, people lie about uh, cables. You know, if you go to Amazon, you look for a HDMI cable. Oh, my God. It is. It's oh, yeah. a nightmare, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Let's have a little look. There's there's too many on there. There's too many, and you've just got to look. At, you've just got to keep looking to see, and you have to read the description a lot to to make sure you're going to get the right one. Mm. Um, I can't seem to find him. <laughs> Five hundred and fifty three tweets in the last hour. HDMI. <laughs> That's not many, is it? Here he is, Julian. 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 Okay, so uh, at J Fest, okay, is um, he's in Munich, Bavaria, um, and he's um, SVP for Corsair and GM for uh, Elgato. So basically, it, it was his tweet that came on. So, Julian, if you're listening, apologies. Let's hope he's listening. Turns out a lot of the high speed cables don't support the performance they promised. So, we're launching our own, starting with this HDMI 2.1. Uh, cable, uh, thoroughly tested, clearly labelled, fairly priced, no nonsense. And it's a certified HDMI 2.1, 48 gigabits of bandwidth, supports 4K at 120 hertz, 8K at 60 hertz, and dynamic HDR. And it's 20 euros, 20 dollars as well, 20 pounds across yeah. the board. And it's two meters. Uh, I, I had to look hard for that uh, because it wasn't obvious. I thought, is it, hopefully it's not one meter. I'll be dying if it's one meter. <laughs> there uh, was a few <clears> people <throat> that I was asking about the size and I managed to see the picture and it just says on the bottom <clears> right, doesn't it? Well, yeah, if you look at the box art on the yeah. box art, I think on Amazon or wherever it was they're selling it, that's why I picked up the two meters because I thought they've hidden that well. I can't find it. Um <laughs> And, and here's a question that I came back with straight away. Um, as you see, my sim rig sits behind me. Uh, my PC sits in front of me, and I've got a 40 or 50-inch OLED in front of me here. So what I do is if I'm going to sit over here uh, to play my sim racing on this thing here, I use a HDMI cable from here to there, which really two meters isn't long enough. So I asked Julian on, on here, um, <clears throat> can I buy two of these and – and link them together, I'm, I'm guessing you can. But mm. what I want to know is, is kind of, do they have some sort of connector or, or can they recommend a connector that will actually be good to put in between, like a female oh, male yeah. connector I saw to that, put yeah. between them? Um, I, I don't think he has, he's replied yet, which is a shame, because I'm not sure whether it will lose anything with that, you know. Um, but, but 100%, I'll be getting one for my main screen here even though it seems to be okay. Because yeah. it, it's that it's that thing as well, isn't it? It's that peace of mind point, isn't it? Like mm. peace yeah. of mind knowing it's I have got 4K and it isn't some sort of yeah. like scramble signal. You've got what you paid for. Yeah. And it's got the logo on it, so I'd buy it. So that's so that's definitely for this screen I'm gonna get one. Um and then obviously hopefully if anybody's listening to this or or, or can help with this, if I get a connector <laughs> 
I'm guessing it should be okay to put two together because ideally that's what I'd like to do. Although I'm yeah. talking to a sponsor right now who might be getting me a PC. Um, well, um, I mean, I mean, I mean, talk to somebody. So that would mean that I'd actually I'd only need a, a two meter one because I can plug it in over here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't need a four meter one then. But as you said, when when Elgato, um, I guess we can talk about when they, when they bought out the Stream Deck Plus. Um, you like me were very lucky because we got it early, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. And how how very nice grateful. was that? How nice was that? Getting it early, well, right? I, I I did like um. Like a, an unboxing, the very first time seeing it. I, I, I did I see like, it. I did see it. Oh, my God. Oh, my yeah. God. You're, 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 in fact, that's probably how I come to hear about you, actually. I think that's Was why it? I first, yeah, yeah, I heard about you through, through your Twitter and going, I can't believe I've been sent this early. Oh, wow, you know, blown away. <laughs> because obviously, I, I've been given one for sort of dev purposes because yeah. they said, could you make something? Uh, probably not saying too much here, but could you could you make something that will demonstrate the power of Stream Deck Plus? What it can do, yeah. So I kind of had almost like this three week run up to build an icon set that sort of showed those buttons and the clicking in, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, the dial, sorry, and the clicking in. Yeah. And I was just when it turned up, like you, I was just like, what is this? <laughs> like, what are the? And the guy said, look, we're sending you. Don't video it. All that sort of NDA. So yeah, don't video. Don't do yeah. anything with it. Uh, but just enjoy it, enjoy it. And I and I generally was like, it was like the best thing that ever happened to me. I generally mean that for all the tech I've ever owned. When the Stream Deck Plus turned up, I generally sat there and went, this is everything I've ever wanted. That again, for people who don't know, it's it's got uh, eight buttons at the top. It's got an LED strip in the middle, which is touch sensitive, which you can tap as well. But you can also swipe. And by swiping, it moves all the eight keys above it over by one page and then by yeah. another. And then underneath that, you've got four more uh, dials, which you can obviously turn left and right, clock clockwise, anti-clockwise. But it also has a push-in interface section as well. And and when you actually, again, talk about accessibility and the way it all works, that little click, click, click is just fantastic. Mm. It, you really know. Again, work with key lights, changing the ambient colors of those lights it's just so it's a, it's a great experience it's yeah. a great user experience and um and it just all works flawlessly and i was so chuffed to bits to have this thing before anybody else if you like and then make icons that were using it so uh, i i actually um built the um star citizen icon pack uh, yeah. from here this is like version two so I, I kind of restarted the whole thing and again for people who don't know the actual buttons on this are actually bigger than the stream deck buttons mm, by a by are. about by about another twenty percent. I think they're actually a, a bigger, so they're brighter, um, yeah. and they and they just look incredible in real life. They look great, really bright, mm. really vibrant. And then they, they <laughs> so when I, I made this uh, icon set for it, so the idea is when you want to select a gun in Star Citizen, you could turn the dial, and it would change the gun from sort of like. Um, handgun to sort of a rifle and then to the gr to the grenades. Oh yeah. And then when yeah. you were mining with your laser, you could turn your laser up and down like the, the and it's just like this is just <laughs> absolutely built for gaming because people don't see the stream deck as a gaming tool, but no. genuinely it's it's incredible and um it blew my mind and what was so good is the night they launched it they featured my icon pack on their live stream that night and I was just sitting there like I did um, yeah, with, with other there was a there was a few of us Twitch? um on Twitch. They went live on Twitch and it was like oh, there's Steggy, there's there's the people you know from Elgato yeah. they're talking about a stream deck. And they they said, Hey, look, we've put this in a few hands of developers and this is what they've showed us. And there's a, a few guys who were love to bits who make icons and things like that. And they were showing their stuff off. And at the end, mine came at the end, and I was like, oh, I was so grateful to see. <laughs> my work on their stream it was just lovely cool. and again it was a nice tip to the hat again this is elgato mm. being elgato they just tip your hat to say we know you've worked really hard to give our give our you know customers the experience of the yeah. stream deck because let's face it stream that stream that but unless you've got icons and stuff to do with it 
yeah. it's it's nothing much more you can do, right? So even their yeah. own software works incredibly well with it. So I was so pleased to be part of that and see it on the live stream that night. I was going, there's my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely excited. Look, mum, I'm, I'm on Twitch. Yeah, look, mum, I made it. <laughs> oh, bless her. I'm famous. Wherever you are. Um, yeah, it's, um, it, it, it was something else. And again, just reinforces that whole Elgato brand and, and we're here to help and make sure you have the best experience you know, with mm. their products. Just, just brilliant. What a night that was when that came out. And, and yeah. um, so I guess I've got a question for you then. If you could pick a coloured button, which ones you're going to buy? Because the, the dials are changing, right? Oh, um, I want the gold one. Probably I think we all want the gold one ones. One. Yeah. yeah. Think, well, the, the Elgato blue or the, or the gold. I think they've got, is it, what's the other ones? Red, isn't it, I think? Is it red? Yes, red. Again, red. if anybody knows that the buttons can pull off and you can and I've got to just I think they're just sort of getting the, the tooling right to make sure the, the I think paint's so, yeah. correct and stuff. I'm mm. sure there's some 3D printers out there right now going mm. <laughs> I think that says that you can try it. They can oh, try no it doubt. because a few people have tweeted about it. Yeah. But I'd yeah. rather have like the official ones. Yeah, because so you I'd know it's gonna than... be. Yeah. Yeah. I, again, if you experience just turn that dial, I know it's a real small thing, guys, but you turn that dial. And getting that feedback from it, just just fantastic. Ooh. Oh, what a what a <laughs> what a great tool! I love it. The Stream Deck Plus, I just is. I've actually got two. I've got one in the box over here that I've not opened, because um, yeah. I'm very much like I'll buy two and I'll see how I get on with it. And if I like it, I'll start moving everything over to it. Mm. But because I developed for the 15 and the 32, I've got the 15 and the 32 on my desk and the Stream Deck Plus, so I kind of got running out of room. <laughs> to, to kind of get any more on here. Need like another room. Um, another I do desk. need another room. Do you know what? Just and again, I know we we're talking before about like future products and stuff, and wouldn't it be great? But just, just, just bear with me for a second. Imagine an Elgato backlit keyboard. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> just, just imagine it. I just that's it. That's 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 oh, all yeah. they need to make. Give me a keyboard that's like the Stream Deck. That I can just configure however I want with oh a built-in Stream Deck. Well, the buttons would be the Stream Deck. Well, yeah, no, I guess you're right actually because the keys are the keys already, aren't they? Yeah. But, but and where what, the num I, where the numcat pad? The, where, yeah. It's steady. Where Don't get too excited. <laughs> where the I am getting excited now thinking about it. The, we want the it. Number keypad. I want it. Can I have it? We bought <laughs> um, it. Give the me number money. Number keypad. That could be the Stream Deck. Yeah. Don't have many buttons as the stream deck. Limited to like four, probably. Four buttons. Or, or do you know what? Or, or even think even further than that out of the box. Just think about where the... If you look at stream deck now, where it's got that bit at the bit of the back. Yeah. But actually, your keyboard has those flaps that sit upright at the back. It basically extends at the back. Yeah. So almost it sits on ready-made um, uh, stream decks. Yeah. I think it, it'd be obviously a really expensive thing to do. And I think Ju Julian actually wrote at one point that um, when the Stream Deck Plus came out, he said, on my desk, I already have four devices that are possibles oh, already. And people were tweeting, is it the, st is it the Stream Deck Plus XL? <laughs> <laughs> In which case, I want it. Give it to me now. Um, <laughs> But you know, I think I think on the live stream, uh, I think Steggy, uh, it's Steggy, isn't it? Yeah. Steggy was asked, "Is there going to be a Stream Deck uh, Plus XL?" He says, we, I, th "I think he just said, um, not not on the plans, which is very typical no. corporate talk for we're to we're here today to talk about this product mm. and nothing else, uh, which is great, which is fine." But I've heard they're not bringing out faceplates for it either um, because of the touch screen. Yeah. Yeah, the, again, being, being a developer for it, there, there's this real, I wouldn't say unfortunate, it's just sad, but because of the limits, the limits on the USB, okay, mm -hmm. and the amount of data that goes back and forth between the Stream Deck, as it is the 1532 or the Stream Deck Plus, there's a limit on bandwidth. Um, so, because what I wanted to do on that LED strip was create like GIF images yeah. to put on that LED strip. And unfortunately, they stop you from doing that. Um, oh. You can't you can't put GIF images on the LED strip. Uh, you could put them on the buttons, uh, but not yeah. on the LED strip. And the reason is because 
um, the slowdown is so bad that if you go and press it, it'll just it'll, oh, it lags. You, it'll bomb out. Oh, yeah, it, so. yeah. Probably. It be, it doesn't become a great experience. Now they they've told me that they're going to work on that, which is great. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, when when I do animation for any of my icons, I try and make sure they're about anywhere between 400 kilobits, kilobytes to 600 kilobytes, which for layman's talk is about less than half a meg, basically. Mm. And that makes an okay experience. If you have too many icons with GIF images on them, as it is, yeah. as it stands, you can see that slowdown. It's quite noticeable. But certainly having a few icons that do a bit of animation is no problem. But it's a real shame because I, I wanted to take that LED strip and like <laughs> do that whole Super Mario Brothers thing, like it running yes, across the screen I and jumping. I saw that. I wanted yeah, that. Yeah, and a guy said, well, what I've done is I've actually superimposed it on there. It's not actually a yeah. thing. It's it's just something um, he, he put together. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly think they finished that year off with that product and I just thought, wow, what, what a great mm. way to end the year. I mean, November, it yeah. came out right, uh, end of November, and I thought, Elgato, you've smashed it. What a brilliant end to a brilliant year, you know? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> definitely. I mean, what they, they brought out last year, they brought out the the Wave DX. Yeah. The, um, the Wave Arms. Yeah. Was it these, that, these, that last year? Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. brought out the Stream Deck uh, pedal. Stream Deck pedal. Um, have you got that? Yeah. That's a good question. Have I've you got, got that? that? Yeah. Have you, have you got, you got see so yeah what else did they bring out last year so yeah the yeah. so they brought that yeah that was a big surprise actually when they brought out wasn't it was that was she quite yeah. surprised at that that pedal it was like wow that's... that pedal um it was I don't know what I didn't know what to think of it at first yeah because it something that I'd never even think of having or yeah something yeah. but it, honestly it is really good it is really mm -hmm. good. Um. Yeah, I'd I'd definitely give it a go if you haven't got one. So you I mean, you, you know what's great about Amazon? Listen, yeah. folks, just just <laughs> take advantage of that whole two week thing. Mm. Get it out of the box, whack it up, grab a go. Um, I'm tempted, but I just I just don't know. I've got itchy feet. I've got itchy feet. What can I say? <laughs> I've got itchy feet. I worry. I worry that might Can't be it. Do it. Um. Yeah. So they did, they did well last year, didn't they? They got a few things out the door last year. They did. Um, In fact, did the Stream Deck Stream Deck Two come out last year? Didn't it? It did, didn't it? Stream Deck Two version Two with the plates was that the last MK2. year? Yeah. I don't. Was I it like that January? Was it could, mm, it yeah, could have it been because that's when I was getting into it actually. Oh, but the face plates, face plates as well. The, the cold shoe. What they is bought that? that out this year. It fits What's on that? top of the. On top of the camera. Oh, to hold the um. To put the. Go. Uh, I've got my mini light up there, but you put your mini light on top of there or whatever you want to use. That's it. It is in this. I mean, again, folks, look at that. I mean, yeah, if you can yeah. design some, if you can design something from the future, that's what it's going to look like, isn't it? J again, just the weight of this. I can't tell people the actual, the anodized finish, the the weight of this, um, the brightness is. It's so bright, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of it like it, <laughs> if there's a power <laughs> cut, you, you, your life's sorted. It's You'll be gonna, all right. You've got these um, brilliant indicators at the back as well. I mean, again, I get it now. That's what the hot shoe's for, to put on top of it, right, so you can hold this. I've forgotten how to turn this off now. See, I thought I might need this. You know, bright, there you go. What a t just a, isn't that amazing? And, yeah. and <laughs> magnetic as well. Yes, put it on your fridge. I, and I genuinely didn't know that, so I kind of snapped it on here, and it kind of went ching. Yeah, like it's doing now. It just went cha ching and snapped to me, um, me hi-fi stand there. Brilliant. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching as well. Appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye. Bye.